Yes, my friends, I'm currently in Obidish and um, this is uh, another medieval town in, um, in the center of Portugal. Strong advice to visit this town. Yes, so these streets, uh, narrow streets, are really nice to, uh, to walk and relax here. And uh, this one was built by these people here. The Crusades to uh, save the, the kingdom at that moment. It's really a historical place. Obidos. and famous by Ginginha. Yes. Mm. Yes, Ginginha is uh, an alcoholic drink uh, with cherries inside, and uh, I will try a bit later. That one, it's quite strong. So if you're driving here, it's not so much advisable to, to drink ginginha. Hmm? Take note. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, we go to a restaurant there. We were worried that the restaurants, due to the pandemic, they are closed, but now they are open. So we can try eventually a restaurant here and check how's the food. Yes. This one, it's also the, the Christmas uh, town. So that's why you have all this decorated here with the Christmas decoration. It's really, really nice to, uh, to visit this, uh, this city. Yeah. Yes, this Ginginha here, it's basically the most famous one, Mariquinhas. Yes. So this is Obidus Castle, which is a military architecture, Romanesque, Gothic, Manuelin and Baroque. Yes, so what they say here, my friends, is this one is probably an Islamic origin, built on the highest part of the hill in Obidus, complemented with the so-called Cirque Velha. Alvarez Tower and Hart Tower. So after the Christian reconquest, it underwent expansions and fortifications in order of several kings, notably the construction of the Barbarican, the Tower of King Dinish, and the Tower of King Fernando, as well the Circanov. In the 16th century, the Governor Palace was rebuilt and in 1948 it received works to be adapted to the historic inn.
Yes, this one is fish in the can. It's tuna and sardines. Voila, so that's the story of Ovidus. Very, very long time ago.